Hey guys, um, thought I'd make a vid here just uh, to help uh, hopefully some of you guys that have uh, uh, an older bike, maybe like an older KTM that has the uh, four CS forks. Um, our bikes, our oldest, well, not the oldest, but the ones we've had the longest are 2015 uh, KTM 300 XCs and they have the four CS forks. They were revalved by craft suspension so Adam crafting and um, they've been great ever since they've been revalved and I've done other than initially I sent them back to him once when he had an up, upgraded base valve but I've sent the uh, so I sent the forks and the shock back then to him otherwise I've been doing the forks ever since so probably about f at least four years maybe five years I've been doing the forks never had this issue that I encountered I don't find a lot of guidance on uh, on the internet about it and no vids for sure. So I thought I'd make a quick one just to show you guys. Um, we're talking about the seal that's right in here at the top of the uh, cartridge. So this is the cartridge. It's out of the fork, obviously the, the fork's over there on the other end of the bench. So I got all my tools here, kind of looks like a dental appointment is forthcoming, kind of is. Um, I've done one of these forks and it did fix the problem, so I know this is what the problem is. Here's what the problem is. See this seal? Hopefully that's focused. That seal is what's in right there. And it, it is obviously bad. This was out of the other fork. One of these pieces came out of this fork. Um, the other pieces I'm sure got rinsed out in the oil change that I did. This is a new seal. It's flat on one side, cupped on the other. So it goes in there like this. The open side down, the seal side down. That being the seal, that inside lip. So um, I'm going to proceed to take out the seal that's in here and then uh, reinstall a new one and then uh, show you the test. Hopefully you can still see that. Let me take a quick look. Yeah, you can kind of see. I mean, as good as it's going to be because I can't have it right here. Only got me here. So I've taken off the spring guide already in a little spring seat that sits up here. That's the damper rod. This is what the seal goes around. And again, right there, where the seal is. Yeah, looking in there, I can see there's pieces of it missing. Um, I'm going to have to hold it way close to me to be able to see in there and you're not going to be able to see anything and I may just pause the video and come back to it once I get it out this is going to take a little digging around probably but here we go I'm going to try I'm going to use this hooked tool so before I get into it this hook tool this pick I found pretty good for getting out the piece the old one for install I found this to be really good. I don't know how well you can see that, if you can see it at all. But it's a, this is a rod for cleaning a, an AR, or a gun, any gun really. And that pick comes out of a cleaning kit for an AR. Um, I like it for the install because it's wide on the end, and it's not sharp. If you tried to use a pick with the new seal, I'm sure you'd rip it. It's really a pain to get the new ones in. So I found that really good on the install of the first one. We'll see if it works as good on this one. Let's see if I can get this out. There's a little hole up here. Yeah, it's broken. It's already in pieces. It may come out right away. Yeah, there it is. Like it's able to get a hold of it where it was broken. It looks very much like the other one. About two-thirds of the ceiling lip is gone. 
In the other fork, I found pieces of the of the seal down inside here. So I suggest if you follow what I'm doing here that you examine it very carefully. Now I'm no expert at this. I don't mean to appear to be or anything. I'm just trying to help some guys that might have 4CS forks. Because I've found a number of people posting about the issue, well, a handful anyway. There was no resolution to the problem. But this is clearly a problem. What it does is, I don't know exactly how this fork works, but I know the, chamber, the cartridge is full of oil, and so when you fill it with oil, you fill it from the bottom, and when you fill it, the, with the seal is bad, the oil just pours out on the floor. And that was my first indicator that something was wrong, because it never used to do that. And the other part is when you compress use compressed air to bleed this fork the damper rod of course is inside the cartridge will stand up and nothing will hold it i mean it just stands there and that doesn't happen um when the seal is bad the damper rod just drops so now we're going to try to put a new seal in that one came out so easy See if I can find. I'm going to use a little seal grease to hopefully help lube it so it falls in there. The trauma that you have to put these seals through to get them inserted, wouldn't doubt that it shortens their life because it's a pain. You got that, I don't know if you can see that, that little hole, which is no bigger around really than the inside of this seal. And the seal has to go in there. There's a groove in there. So more than likely, this won't go in right away. I've just about got it in there. It's in the hole, but part of it's not in the groove. So I'm going to try to use this hook and pull it up. And hopefully it'll seat. Uh, Oh wait, it's in. <laughs> Just popped in. Not 100% straight. We can fix that up. There. Looking good. Can you see? Probably not. Trust me. A little purple seal is finally in there. So now I'm going to put the fork back together and fill it with oil. And I'll try to show you that it holds oil. All right, I'm back. Um, what we've got is uh, well, I've relocated the camera over here close to my vise where I'm going to fill the chamber or the cartridge, and the reason I uh, have it aimed kind of off to the side is because the window's so bright, you can't see anything otherwise, I don't think. So what we're going to do is put the cartridge back into the tubes, then pour some oil in it, and we'll see what happens. So put a little grease on that big O-ring, that's another possible fail point for this cartridge to leak if that's bad these are not bad so there's a tool KTM makes to, for putting this in or you can just do it with your fingers you want to make sure the threads are bottomed into the bottom of the fork then some room for this all to hang. So here we got our ratio right full of fluid. Not on the axle mount. But that's where I put it this time. Not exactly right. Just keep the tube pushed up. 
We should be able to put almost all this oil in, but you got to pour slowly. There's videos on how to do this. The point I wanted to show you is there's no oil pouring out the bottom. Wish there would have been, but now, if if my seal fix hadn't been what was wrong, it's always possible that you booger up that dang little seal putting it in. So you may want to buy some, at least one extra. In case you booger it up. So, um, nearly that whole ratio right's in there. It's a little too much, because it's only supposed to be 510 milliliters. That was probably more closer to 550 when it was full, so it's gonna overflow here. There's nothing I can do about it, as I overfilled it. Normally I would measure much more carefully. So well, anyway, there you go. You can see that it's not leaking. If you can't see, I'll take this off. There, see? I'm gonna put pressure in the uh, bleed hole. And hold it for like five seconds. How the. So lower the outer. And look at that. See how that stands up? Before, when that seal at the top of the uh, cartridge was bad, this would just drop. Boom. So there you go. All done. You gotta reset the uh, clickers and reinstall it in the triple clamp, put your wheel on, and now it's set to go. Hopefully that helped. I don't know. Um, Probably not a lot of people still have the 4CS, but um, for those that do, again, hopefully it'll help you.